friends, it's Brian here with another impromptu tool review. Today, we're going to review a DCF 913B, which is a compact impact wrench with a hog ring, which I actually like the hog ring better than the detent. So this is just a bare tool. So let me uh, set the camera here. We're, we're on the hood of my Jeep, which is where I'm fixing to put this thing to, to well, not the hood, but we're, we're on the Jeep, which is where I am fixing to put this thing to use. So um, I picked this up because I'm going to be pulling the engine out and doing a bunch of work to this. And I thought, you know what, my life would be a lot easier if I had another DeWalt tool to help me out. So here we are. Um, I did buy the Bear tool. Um, I, have, I have a whole fleet of batteries. And this comes with a really awesome clip, which will install. And that clip can go on either side. But it on this side because I'm mostly right-handed I'm trying really hard not to send the screw into oblivion I'm using a number one point on the screwdriver and then I'm going to actually just install this by hand. It does need to go into these little grooves that are in there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see them. There's some little slots and um, this will be one of the very few. Uh, actually, you know, it probably does need a number two screwdriver. I thought it was just a little finer than that. There we go. And I was correct, it is finer than that. So, take one of the batteries I've owned forever, and there we are. So, uh, stay tuned to, um, you know, what I like about this is I can get this into some some tighter places like this and I don't know if it's going to get down in there or not um, but it's certainly going to take some of the load off my hands um, so first thing I'm going to use it on today is I'm going to take this coil off I'm trying to figure out why this uh, salvage jeep doesn't want to start so I'm going to pull the coil because I see some damage on the coil but that's another video you'll have to tune into my jeep project videos check out my playlist that's how I organize my videos thanks for watching going to do in my saga to figure out why my jeep won't start is i'm gonna pull the coil bar i see some damage to the coil bar at the back but i can't really i can't get a good look at it um without pulling it out and um so i'm gonna do that next but before i do i'm gonna pull this off and get it out of my way let's see i have a sensor on here see what the easiest way to get to this is. Well, first we can pull the battery charger. Alright. Yeah, I've got a nice crack here in the back from the accident. Um, so I think the simplest thing to do is just to loosen this. And then that can just lay over there out of my way. All right, so I've got my uh, 3 8 impact driver. This is a new tool. And I'm real excited about it. It's going to save me a bunch of time on shit like this. And it's going to save my hands. So these are half inch bolts in case you're doing this at home. And that one needs a slightly different one with a longer extension.
I don't think you really have enough extensions when you're doing things like this. All right. So we're going to pull these out and put them right there where we can find them again. And then this should just pop off. Now, the connector is notoriously difficult to reach. And this is not going to be a disappointment. Let me find an extra flashlight. Somebody's been in here before. I see a zip tie. Zip ties are not an OEM part. So I do own a spark plug tester, although this is kind of a strange um, location for it. So we're going to see if we can get this in here and just find something metallic to do a test with. I just want to see if the damn thing fires. Because if it does, this will tell me if I've got spark. And these boots are really in the way. So we'll just pull a boot off and figure out which way this goes. All right. Let's see. You know what? We're going to do this the easy way. two sides. There we go, got a nice metal ground. So now I'm going to come over here and reach in and just roll it over and see if I see a flash. I gotta get that thing where I can see it. Damn it. Really need a helper. Let me can do it from this side. No, I'm not sticking my hands down there to run that off. Um, well, there's no reason this can't be turned. That gives a little better profile. Maybe I can see it from this side now. I need to be on the driver's side to reach the key. Yeah, 
Yep, okay. <laughs> Oops. Need to get the camera out of the out of harm's way there. Okay. Nothing. So that's a pretty good indicator. And I don't think, so one of the other things that was suggested was to test the fuel rail, but I don't see a test port on this fuel rail. The manual says there's supposed to be one, but again, I don't see a damn test rail. Our test point is not here, and it's not in here where it's supposed to be, and I don't see one back there either. All right, that could be a test port. Man, that's a stupid place for it. Why the hell is it way back there? You can't actually put anything on it. Oh, that's another injector. Yeah, I don't I don't see a test port on this fuel rail to get the fuel pressure. I'm sure there's an, a harder way to do this, but I haven't figured out what it is yet. So we're going to go ahead and pull this this coil assembly because I'm pretty sure it's it's bad. And um, that'll get us at least started. First, I'm going to turn the key off. this out, pull this off, that can stay there, this can go back in the drawer, miracle I can even find that thing, Godforsaken fucking locking connectors that you can't see. these burns in hell. You know, whoever does this shit does, just never has to work on anything. I mean, you know, why would you design a locking connector where you can't see the lock? There it goes. Stupid piece of shit. So it goes this way. And then it still doesn't want to disengage once it's slid over. And of course, cheap marks. Because if there's one thing that Chrysler's really good at, it's designing a leaky engine. That's why I hadn't owned one for so long, is this sort of bullshit.
any way you reach in here, you get um, either sharp edges or there's just no clearance. Other than getting my hands covered with grease, I really can't tell what's going on back here. I'm going to reach back here with this. see a damn thing down there and part of it's my crap eyesight and part of it is I have no idea what this connector actually looks like or what the mechanism is so all right that one pushes in at the top but this one doesn't have that there's no there's nothing to push in on damn you Jeep It's at the bottom. So there's a t there's a tab at the bottom that you can push on. I felt it move. little red tab isn't fully engaged, disengaged. Okay, so it came out further. Doesn't look like it's supposed to be out that far. I gotta go wash me. I'm covered in fucking grease.
All right. Fortunately, I bought some hand cleaner, so I did a pretty good job. I mean, this really needs like three or four hands to get this undone. All right, I'm gonna take the battery out because I can't do I really can't do anything with uh, the coil out anyway. So. And I need clearance. Okay, that makes it a lot easier, although it still won't unlock, this shitty ass there it goes, yeah, you, okay, so that's the solution, you gotta pull the battery to get access to get your fingers in there. So, this is full on broken back here, and I'm pretty sure that's the issue. So, I'm going to test it with. Multimeter. So, the firing order is 1 6, 3 4. And I have, I, I, okay, I can't get these in here, so I'm going to pull these off. Hey, 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 hey. Damn it. Where did that just go? There it is. And if you're thinking, what the hell is this idiot doing? Yeah, these are, it's probably bad anyway. I just want to, I, I want to do some testing. That's it. So I have no conductivity between these two. No conductivity between these two. No conductivity. I should have 1500 ohms somewhere in here. And I don't. This is a product only someone who runs an assembly line could really like because it replaces a bunch of wires with one thing that is proprietary and difficult to get your hands on. So, I'm pretty sure this is the problem. Again, let's... And it's non-repairable because it's potted. Yeah, this, this is... I have no conductivity anywhere between any of the parts of this. So, this is dead. Let's see what our spark plugs look like. <coughs> so one of the things I really would like to do is a compression test on this engine. Um, but I, I have no earthly idea where my compression tester's at. I uh, haven't seen that thing in forever. Um, much less assuming it actually would fit in here. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Let me get this part and then we'll revisit this after we get the part. Um, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to my videos. And I hope you found this interesting. Please remember to comment if you think I'm stupid, you didn't like the way I did it, blah, 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 blah. Just put it in the comments. And um, I can't guarantee anything changes, but um, yeah, just put it in the comments. And as long as it's not too obnoxious, it'll get approved and everybody can see what you think.